already said it. Okay. The first stop. Okay, yeah. I'm so sorry. Okay. So you love the cricket machine. I now have a love-hate relationship with the cricket machine after you mm-hmm. know it's been out for so long. When I got the cricket machine, I didn't get it for like the paper, like using it for paper uh crafts, more so of like the vinyl and being able to put stuff mm-hmm. in like glasses and mugs and t-shirts. But we want to throw a curveball at you and tell right. um you tell us what do you hate about crafting because uh the cricket is one thing I hate about crafting now. <laughs> uh one of the things I hate about it is the cricket. <laughs> Yeah, I love it, but I don't like it. It's definitely um, a love-hate relationship with the cricket. It's a good cutter. Like, it cuts very um, neatly right. with paper because that's what I mainly do. But, you know, it, it does okay with vinyl. Um, but the design design space, I hate. Yes. I only use yeah. it to cut stuff. I don't, I design outside of that. Uh, I don't like that you can't print and cut as big as you want. um so yeah I'm not like very pro oh you have to get your Mm -mm. I just use it mainly to cut stuff with that's it at other um like cutters like I know there's the silhouette and then there's the little glow forge too yeah have you used any of those or so I have a silhouette I have the cameo three and I use that software to design everything Okay. Like everything. Oh, Cameo. Um, yes. And then with Cameo, you can print and cut something this big if you want to. Like it's no, you know, no restrictions. Um, however, I don't, I don't like the way it cuts paper. It's very rigid to me. I don't think it's clean cuts. Yeah. Vinyl though, it cuts it like butter. Like I, I, I love it for vinyl. Um, but so yeah, so. So, because I know you said that crafting is your piece. So, that part is so is the cricket or the cutting the aspect of your job that you kind of dislike the most, or is there another? another um, that would probably probably be it. I know, like most, some people would be like, "Oh, I don't like dealing with people," but I love talking to people, <laughs> and. <laughs> You know, you get the people that be hard to deal with. But actually, yeah. in the years I've been doing this as a business, um, I've maybe had two problem customers. Really? That's Great. it. Like every, and I don't know if it comes with, I think I'm, I'm very social. And a lot of people tell me that I make them feel comfortable. So they don't feel like, I think when people talk to me, they think I'm their friend versus Good. you know she she's the business lady and I'm just placing an order they are very we have just normal conversations because I'm just a normal person I'm just doing something that you want like that's it right so, so I would have to say that would be the machines would be something that I don't enjoy about it just the things that's lacking I love dealing with people I love learning about different people um that's probably the highlight uh now, I on the hobbyist side, I don't like the comp- the competition. I feel like, yeah, I feel like some people think <laughs> that you're trying to compete with them, or you're no, it's just crafting. Like, girl, I'm playing with paper. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Never that serious. No, it's never that serious. I'm glad you said that. I have a horror story about like competition on the internet, and it was just like. I was really shocked that somebody actually uh, like reached out to me and approached me like you're copying me. Girl, I put some glitter on a glass with a Mod Podge. Get out of here. You don't leave me alone. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Somebody wrote you and said, hey. Yes. It was like Mother's Day and I was doing the glitter wine glasses with like a little wine bottle. Mm-hmm. I was selling them. This was like very early on when I first started like trying to do custom stuff. And someone DM me and was like, "So you're doing these now?" Doesn't everybody put glitter? Please I'm stop. Not, I'm glad that's <laughs> I literally watch a YouTube tutorial of like there's a thousand people on YouTube doing it. It's on pictures like you didn't invent Mod Podge glitter, the tape, right. anything, and it was just like, 
girl, bye. Stop. <laughs> just stop. <laughs> that would have blocked her so fast. Girl, but Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. So what's your favorite craft supply and why? My favorite? Uh, hmm. Okay, so are machines counting in, in this or, yeah. or stuff like anything? Mm-hmm. I know that's kind of a tough one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm not gonna go with the machine because obviously I use right. that for crafting. I'm gonna say um, adhesive, tape, glue pen. Okay, that would be my favorite. Glue gun. Ooh. Do you have filling in your fingers? <laughs> Have you glue gun your finger so much? Are you a Listen, I didn't burn these <laughs> fingerprints off so many times. Yeah, I'm immune to the hot glue now, so it yeah. doesn't even bother me. I kind of like the little, you know, the initial thing a little bit now. Uh, <laughs> kind of like it. I'm from the country, so I used to walk outside with no shoes on asphalt, so I ain't got no feeling in my feet. Now that that's me. So <laughs> that is funny. I would That's say me. The glue gun is probably my favorite craft supply because mm-hmm. I'll do anything with the glue gun. I put my nails back on sometimes with my glue gun, and like, <laughs> like in like in crazy situations when I can't like find my uh, you just my blow it a little bit, little cool, little cool, off. a little dab on there. <laughs> I can't sew, so I also will like make bags and pillows and stuff out of mm-hmm. hot glue with the glue gun. So that's my favorite craft supply. Do you use the fabric glue? No, sometimes I just use straight up hot glue. But yeah, right, glue. you have oh. fabric glue. But yeah. 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 So that's my what, what would you say? I yours? think mine is changing to um the little rotary cutters. Okay. Oh yeah. For the I, fabric. Yeah. I have a lot of rotary cutters from when I used to quilt. Mm-hmm. And now I use them for everything. Opening mail, opening packages. <laughs> <laughs> I got rotary scissors like around the house. I just found out about rotaries like I love six rotaries. months ago. That's very embarrassing, especially with the type of work that I do. And I the tool, you can, you know, you can replace the blade. You know, sometimes uh-huh. the fingers get dull. With the rotary, you can just replace the blade and the tool. Get a new sharpen, like get a, a new one that's sharpened. Yeah, I just found out about those like <laughs> six months ago in Walmart. I was like, this is cool. And it was like, this is what people cut fabric with, like, since forever. I was like, oh, okay. It's easy, just a little zoom. Yo, here's you just zoom in. Mine right here. That's the one. There we go. <laughs> there That's, we go. That's the one. So, okay, now we know your um, favorite craft supply. What five craft supplies must you have in your craft bag? Like, if you're about to go to an event or you're about to go somewhere, you have to take your crafts with you. What are the top five things that have to be in your bag? I'm going to have scissors, um, tape. Okay. What else do I take? My glue gun. Okay. Very much so. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, I also take my uh, cutter, you know, the one that you can put the paper in and you slide it down and, it. or paper trimmer, whatever it's called. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll take that with me too. Um, my embosser. Ooh. I've never used an embosser. Me either. Oh, you gotta get you one. It's the best thing ever. Is that when it like makes the indent or the imprint? Yeah, like paper? A, yeah, you gotta get you one. It's the best thing ever for detail. I'm very detailed. Um, so I love adding stuff like I have a one off oh, question. Like on this key. I don't know if y'all can see this. Oh yeah, I saw um, that. I was looking on your website. Those little prints. Oh. That was from in Boston, and, and that was it's a, so the folders have names, and this one was a is a wood folder, so it makes it look like kind of like when you cut a tree mm-hmm. and you can see the rings in the tree. That is so cool. Oh, I was gonna ask. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you had a traditional wedding or not, but did you make your own invites or invitation? No, no wedding. We courthoused it. A period. And okay. <laughs> <laughs> we are with that. <laughs> So with you doing paper products, have you ever been into scrapbooking? Yes. Mm-hmm. Really? Okay. Yeah. Really cute too. Yeah, I love scrapbooking. That's what scrapbooking and my daughter's birthday is what started me to loving crafts. And it's strange because when I was in school, 
and like middle and high school, I loved when we had to do projects and posters, but I never connected that I'm a crafter. Like that's just what I like. I never did one plus one is two. I just figured I enjoyed doing this part of school. Not until I got into this. And I was like, that's why I love doing projects. Like I would get turned when the teacher said we got a project coming up. <laughs> So my mama, we need to go to Walmart because I need to rock a black. Like I need the yeah. glitter glue. I need the highlighter paper. <laughs> I need you? stickers. I'm not drawing no letters. I need st- I like it to also look like, you know, sleek and professional. Mm-hmm. The projects was no joke. <laughs> did you did you surprise yourself when you started like seeing all of like the talent flow out of you and all of the different projects you were doing? Because I know you said prior to that, you just enjoy like doing projects with her but if you weren't doing anything on your own just creatively and then you just all of a sudden start seeing all these cool things you start making like um um, I don't know if I would say I surprised myself I don't know I don't think like I know I'm good and my stuff turns out cute and But I, I always think I can do better. I'm not a, oh, so I'm like, oh, I could have did such and such. That would have looked so much better. Like, I'm just one of those people. So yeah. I don't know if I can say I surprised myself. Now I do, when I see it <clears throat> come full circle, I do be like, oh, that turned out nice. Like, mm. when they take whatever, I, if it's a treat box, when I'm making it, I don't see it the way everyone else sees it. Everyone else sees it. I, I mm, 100% understand great. that. Well, let me be the first to say I'm extremely impressed. And <laughs> Thank you. It, you this, your work is amazing. It's beautiful. I know that I could never do it. And I think that's what's so cool about just all of us as crafters. Like, you have something that I cannot do. And I have something that you probably can't right. do. Right. Yeah. I don't ever want to be able to do what you do. I just right. <laughs> Yes. I just pay you to do it so I was just sitting there looking at all that stuff I was like wow I could never have the patience for this Th- that's my thing like I'm most impressed with like the patience yeah. and the consistency because like looking mm-hmm. at your feet definitely this is your niche this is your thing yeah. but it's like I know the patience that has to go into mm-hmm. doing this yeah. which is mm-hmm. why I don't like doing it but it's like it turns out so beautiful yeah Patience Thank you. Yes, patience yeah. and skill. Okay, so we have another curveball question. <laughs> <laughs> so what would your crafty stripper name be? <laughs> uh, and we can give you an mean? example. <laughs> Let me hear some examples. <laughs> we can give you ours. Okay. I would probably be crafty cakes. That would be my that would be my okay, okay. <laughs> Um, I'm into glitter now, so I'll be glitter uh-huh. cheeks. Oh, glitter cheeks. Oh. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I don't know how we could make paper sound strippery. <laughs> I mean, I guess we could relate it with some money paper. Um, origami mommy. Ooh. Origami. Oh, like a like, <laughs> 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 I don't like that one oh, for you. Thank you. I like that. Okay. Oregon. Okay. That's cute. <laughs> if you ever simmer on one just, and come up with one, just, just let us know. I okay. will. I will. So we wanted to ask, who is your crafting hero? Or who do you admire or look up to? And you just fangirl over. Uh-oh. In all honesty, nobody. Period. Period. I'm okay with that. I... that is now, I do. a hard question to answer. I think I finger over the people that I know rather than, like, you know, people that I don't mm, know. Yeah. Because I finger over Bianca stuff all the time, and she'd be like, oh. <laughs> So I think it's more so the relation that I have with people. Could be. And it's like, yeah. she does something that I can't yeah. do. It always amazes me when she takes something to the next level. Um, but like, you know, just influencer-wise or celebrity-wise, especially in the crafting industry, I, I agree with you. It's like, it's nobody that always just comes straight to mind. Mm-mm. No, but I can't think of anyone that's paper crafter, at least, um, that I would say, 
you know, like, I mean, I give people their crop, their props. If it looks good, I'm like, oh, this is cute. Or you did a good, like, I'm all for it. Mm -hmm. But I can't say it's anybody that I look at and be like, oh, I want to be just like that. Like, I don't know. I just find myself in my own lane. I move in my own time. Um, I don't want to be like anyone else. I just want to be like myself. Right. and perfect my craft uh I I can say inspiration in the craft world would be Shanice from Pink Sugar Shop oh I love her okay. um I met her uh 2019 she had her craft mavens tour mm -hmm. and at the time I was living in Italy because military we had to move and she was coming like an hour from me and so I told my husband I was like I'm gonna go I don't know anybody there. I've never talked to her a day in my life. Um, but I want to go to network and, you know, just be amongst people that do things that I do or, you know, something similar. So I went and she ended up approaching me and she was just like, oh my gosh, I have been wanting to connect with you for the longest time. And I'm like, me? Like, little old me? You want to like, what did I do? Um, and so... We exchange numbers and she's she's my go-to when really like on the business side of things, when I need some inspiration or someone's driving me nuts, or um, you know, just I need ideas on how to handle certain business things, I'll go to her because she's successful in what she does. Right. And so, you know, her and I will chat or whatever, but a paper crafter. Mm -mm. Remember, I told y'all. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of paper crafts, <laughs> you have a craft that you wanted to show us. Um, and it's a quick craft that let's just say any crafter can do. We won't say anyone, but if you want to show it to us, we would love to see it. I sure can. And it's I already put it together and it's really quick. I've made some similar already. But I did a different thing. I'm excited. Let's see. And it's it's a heart treat box. Oh, it's bees. I like it. And it says B E Y for Beyonce. Mine. <laughs> so I just want to tell the people that's watching this, get your girl some Beyonce tickets. That's all she wants for Valentine's right. Day. Go to Crafting with Me and get that box and put it in the <laughs> box with some chocolate. Oh, yes. <laughs> with some chocolate. That's all she wants for Valentine's Day. That was it. Renaissance so, tickets, baby. <laughs> that's it. Just put them in here. It's, it's plenty of room in the inside. You can fit it. I feel like, a, you know, some money can go in there with the gift card and uh -huh. the Beyonce shirt. A Beyonce shirt. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh that's my what you want. that was so cute i love that and i love that you're behind yes 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 you I am. Tour. <laughs> did, you, did you um listen to her remix yet to the um oh oh yes ma'am you know i get the text <laughs> <laughs> i get the little beyonce text yes ma'am <laughs> and i actually changed her name changed the number i changed it to beyonce yeah, she got the so i tell people i'm like beyonce just text me i never <laughs> even thought about that because it's the same number every time so you mm -hmm. can contact girl i'm doing it i don't Thank get you. text y'all y'all get text you don't get the text <laughs> sign up for the text and you beyonce. gotta sign up <sighs> what okay i'm behind <laughs> I get Beyonce and Rihanna. I need to be kicked out. I didn't even know that. Okay, <laughs> you do need to be kicked out. We are gonna suspend you. <laughs> that would be so funny if I was out with you at dinner and I saw a text come up that said Beyonce. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I do something like saving as like best friend or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> that is so I cute. I thought about that. Okay, so um because we got to get you out of here. Um, we have a quick game that we want to do. And it is Never Have I Ever Crafting Edition. Are we going to okay. do the five fingers? And okay. Two. All right. So you want to start with one? Okay, yes. Um, never have I ever had to go to the hospital after a crafting incident. No, I never. <laughs> I've never gone for I'm surprised I have it because I'm very accident prone. Oh, shit. <laughs> so I'm surprised that I've never, you know, hit an emergency room. <laughs> and I'm back on wood. Yeah, no, I haven't. 
Um, okay. Never have I ever given a refund to a customer for being difficult. Not you, but they were difficult. <laughs> Just to get you out of my hair. <laughs> and I was cussed out behind it. I was cussed out because I refunded them the whole thing. Right. And they got the product. You got free product and you got a refund. So, like, what are you cussing me out for? Oh, my goodness. That's yeah. a very difficult customer. That's difficult. What else could you possibly be mad about? <laughs> yeah, why are you mad? Never have I ever almost quit my business. I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did quit it. I'm, I have quit. I came back, but I, I quit. I quit for like two months. I was like, I'm done. I'm not doing this anymore. Quit, but then you realize, well, damn. Well, in my my case, this is the only thing I'm really good at. So I got to go back. Or after a while, you start missing it. So you be like, yeah, I'm going to just do something. <laughs> okay. Um, Never have I ever said Maj Paj instead of Mod Paj. I do that every day. Every time I say it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. And I be getting annoyed. I'm like, if they said it, I heard a lady in the store yes yesterday, and I was like, stop calling. Stop I work, I, I work with my posh, and that's the number one rule. You can't say oh, they hate it. They hate it. So I learned that quickly because I was saying Maj Posh, and it's like, no. I've said it on the podcast. I know. <laughs> stop her. I just, I just when I, know it. first of all, going back and watching episodes is so cringy to me. And then I <laughs> I pick out everything that I do wrong. I would, yeah. <laughs> it's you. That's what makes you, I'm not going to stop your creation. You can um, say it if you want to. <laughs> never have I ever went out in public with like craft supply, residue all over me, like paint, glitter, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> and just look homeless. And everybody don't know that you're yes. fighting for your life <laughs> with the crazy machine. <laughs> no, I definitely would be like, I don't care at this point. I don't. I don't care what you think. That's why you gotta be amongst your people. If you go to the paint store or you go to Hobby Lobby, they know what's up. Nobody cares. Yeah, and then I wear. I wear an apron, (laughs) so my apron has crafting with Meek on it. So I'm just like, if somebody, you know, you look at me and see my name, then you at least know she's a crafter. Like (laughs) that's a good life hack. So I need to start throwing on my apron so people don't just think I'm crazy. I do for (laughs) you. And so, you know, when you're doing balloons, the latex residue gets all over you. And um, my uniform is like black. So after doing oh, a the balloon, I go, flower. and I got like, it's like I got flour all over me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you look so dirty. You just look dirty. <laughs> yeah, I would think you just look ash. Especially <laughs> if you have them all black. <laughs> but, uh, okay, let's see. Hmm. Try to make something on Pinterest and fail miserably. Oh, oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes. I can't say that. Okay. Um, I like to take shortcuts. And I don't like to read. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> It makes sense now. Mm-hmm. I just look at it and be like, oh, okay, I think they did it like this, 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 and that, and do it my own way, and it'd be like, oh that's me i don't like instructions i'm not an instruction i don't even when people say oh what tutorial did you use nothing i don't like tutorials i don't like instruction i don't like any i just figure it out but when it comes to pinterest uh any paint thing i tried to make because i can't paint but i like to tell myself i can't either i wish i could tell you about a paint story but we don't even have enough time but i'm not a painter either so i have to get really creative and use machines and printers Uh (laughs) So um, since y'all are still in, I'm gonna give y'all the last like two. Let's do that one. Um, Let's see. Uh, never have I ever bought something at a craft store that I didn't need just to use the coupon, the forty percent off coupon and how we love it. Mm-hmm. I have. Oh, I'm a hoarder. So <laughs> but we, just buy it. We want for um. <laughs> never have I ever regretted saying, "Sure, I'll make that for you." <laughs> 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 oh my god it's like sure i'll do that for you why, mm-hmm. why did i say the it? whole week <laughs> that yeah. was fun that was so was. much fun um we are running out of time but we want to give you an opportunity to tell the people where they can find you um all the outlets that you're on 
Um, I am everywhere. Just Google Crafty with me and you can find me. <laughs> You're good, baby. I'm on TikTok, <laughs> Instagram, Pinterest, um, YouTube. I have a blog. Uh, and I name everything. I'm on Patreon. Um, okay, I'm definitely going to go find your Patreon. Um, I found out about your Patreon last night. So I definitely want to join your Patreon. Um, and also, just I was just going through your website. I love all of the um, digital downloads that you have. I definitely want to. Um, I love the school bus. Oh, um, you do? <laughs> I love the school bus. And I definitely want to try making one of hearts. I really love the composition heart. Mm -hmm. really, really that has been my biggest seller is the composition one and i saw that you also said that the bowl has been one of your biggest sellers but in a previous year it wasn't one of the biggest sellers so. mm -hmm. last year zero this year <laughs> i'm still getting orders yeah she, you planted the seed last year sure. and just waited residuals yes, yes. <laughs> um, yeah, I would definitely be purchasing one of your um, files. I just have to really thank you and look at which one I feel like I'm capable well, of actually you. putting them together. Oh, it's so easy. It's so simple. It's, it's not hard at all. <laughs> and it's quick. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I'll have to send you a picture of how it turns <laughs> out. And then I might even try to emboss it. So we'll see. Ooh. Get you an embosser. Go get you one. <laughs> we will see. Well, thank you so much for talking a little bit of shit with us today. Thank you for <laughs> we having me. Enjoyed you, and we hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Yeah. We hope that we get to like actually meet up in person one day. I don't know if she needs us having another one of her events soon, but if she does, I would love to go. Um, yes, we we can definitely uh, plan. If she doesn't, we can still plan some type of meetup. You know, you're not that you're not that far. Not that far yeah. at all. Yeah. Yeah. We will love that. We're trying mm -hmm. to do more crafty things outside of the studio this year. So yeah, we would love to do <laughs> me too. Something or you know, just go a little outing. Yeah, yeah. We were talking, yes. we talking about doing pottery, so we might. Yes, yeah, go to a pottery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah that'll be fun. Get, get our hands dirty and then go out in public with, with all the clay on us. We'll let you know what we come up with. But thank you so much. I think this is about to almost cut out on that. So we yes. want to get out of here. But thank you so much. We were thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. It was fun. <laughs> thank you. So we will catch up with you next time. All righty. Y'all have a good weekend. You Have too. a good weekend. Bye-bye.